And now we want to add our bathrooms in here on our main and second floor. I'm going to double click on there. I'm going to zoom into this area over here. I've got a door going into that space right now. Let's split this in half, create similar, and start uh, just to make a men's and a women's bathroom there. Escape, escape, click on here, and it looks like it took that side of the room. And let's grab this door and say create similar and say, okay, there's the door to the men's bathroom. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load some families and I need some plumbing families. I need a, a sink and a toilet and a urinal. And then we'll um, also just create a new little one inch kind of wall style. So let's go to our insert tab and say load family. And in fact, we want to load a bunch of families. So let's just go into Windows Explorer to do that. Let's check something. Load family. Note where this is. Okay. Program data, Autodesk 2017 libraries. Okay. We're going to go open up Windows Explorer and go to that folder. So here I've navigated to that folder and I'm going to go to plumbing and architectural and fixtures and water closets toilet 3d what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab this and watch i'm just going to drag it in that effectively loads that family i can use my space bar here oh it's not working place that and back to here and up a level and let's go to sinks and let's just grab a vanity round sink drag that in place one of those and i want to bring in a urinal 3d urinal wall mounted good has to stick up against the wall and I also want to go bring in um, a countertop. So let's go back to architectural and let's go back to metric here and casework and countertops. Let's just grab a standard metric countertop. Bring this guy in. Place one. Okay. Escape, escape on the keyboard. Now I'm also going to create a new wall style. Wall. And I'm going to just take this guy that I've been using, edit type, and say duplicate, make a new one, and call this one inch, or let's call it 25 millimeter toilet partition. And then hit edit on the structure, go in here, delete this guy, okay? Take this guy, make it 25 millimeters or one inch. I'm not too worried about the material and hit OK. So now I have a new wall type. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go out about 1500. And then I'm going to travel this way a certain distance. And I'm going to take these guys and I'm just going to say, uh, let's, let's do a dimension up for the first one. From here to here, let's say we want this to be a meter. So one meter by 1500, which is about three feet by five feet. And let's get this guy out of the way. Pull this guy over here. So let's try, let's just do an offset. Let's say modify offset by 1000. Okay, and then we just do a trim here. Okay, now we want to add in a door, so we'll go into here, we'll add a door, and I'm going to use a smaller door, this size door here. And I think I need to make my stalls bigger. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's pick on this guy and let's nudge that out. Again, we could have a dimension in there. I 
and we can now add our toilet. So we pick on our toilet and say create similar. Use our space bar to rotate it around. Oops, keep going too far. And then of course we can you know copy these in a in a in a more alignment way, but it's they they do align fairly well. Okay, grab this um, countertop, say create similar. That way I can create a fresh one and say, okay, that's going to be up against the wall there. Take the original, delete it. Take this guy and I can slide that because it's stuck to the wall. Grab this little partition, say create similar. Create some little gables over here. Nudge this up. Of course, put some take some time to actually dimension these properly and position them. And then this guy, I can say co uh, copy multiple and constrain, and then I could just pick from here to here. Oops, I got that one wrong. Here, here. Take this guy, nudge it over. and click on here create similar that way i can rotate it as i bring it in now those are not going in in the right place and i have a fishy suspicion they're either above or below There's something funny going on let's do a quick cross section through here and see where those sinks in the counter are going create a new section zoom in hmm Sink went in at a certain height. It says it's at zero, but obviously there's a, oh, I see top of counter. Well, where's this counter at? Counter says it's at zero, but it's not at zero. It's at 900. Okay, so this has to be, I would suspect, 900. It goes up. Okay, let's do a crossing box and grab all of these these last two anyway. Top of counter 900. Escape, escape, back to my main floor. Okay, and I could even add, if I needed to add a blind in, I could say it'll create similar. I don't need a wall this thick here, but you may want to create a blind there. Don't need that section anymore. Okay, so there's the men's bathroom. Let's create a room. Pick in here, place it, escape, escape. Aha, now look what we need to do. I need to take these walls and, and, and tell, oops. I need to take these walls and tell them that they are not room bounding. Okay, I need to go in there and say room bounding, no. Aha, isn't that cool? So now this whole room is that whole room. Like that, and then I can go in here and call this men's one. one my eyes and my screen just went kind of berserk there what is going on okay we're back all right uh, men's bathroom more or less done. We'll come back and do the women's bathroom next.